Alright guys, hello. Um just wanted to let you know there I was gonna do an unboxing. I had the video, I recorded it on my phone, just that the files corrupted and for some reason my cable for my phone won't connect to my PC anyways. So I don't I can't do the unboxing part. But hopefully you enjoy the benchmarking and uh my exaggeration to the new graphics card. So enjoy the video. Okie dokie, we are here at the computer, and uh, my webcam is going to be moving a little bit. I'm going to just move it around here so you guys could just see uh, the settings up top. So, right here we have the settings, we have um, the resolutions, it doesn't say right now, it's uh, 1080, uh, it's basically, it's 920 by 1080. Um, is the is the thingy because I'm not in full screen mode. That's why it's doing that. But um that's the resolution. I have it on high and uh I have the sound off. So let's run this benchmark with my R9 380 as you see in the top right. Um at its overclocked speeds. Um and let's see what the score is so obviously this is a pretty long test so I'm not going to make you guys wait through this so I'm going to cut the recording and I'll be right back alrighty guys now I'm in the middle of everything so with having uh, my average score I mean my average FPS was 71 and a half my score was 1801 my minimum frame weight was 34 frame weight <laughs> frame rate uh, my maximum frame rate was 150.1 now that is a big difference um and that's with having a uh, 64-bit windows an i7 6700 uh which is overclocked at 4.5 gigahertz and uh that graphics card the four gigabytes so that's with having it on 920 by 1060 1067 I guess it's not a full uh, 1080 because it's not a full screen um, because it's windowed um, with high quality and two times anti-aliasing so let me go install the graphics card and we'll be back with the uh, another test so one second all right there guys I'm back and we're at the PC once again I installed the new graphics card we go into settings we're here they are um i believe i added on uh, uh these also i'm not sure i'm not sure if they were there before but we got the anti-aliasing we got the regular resolution i ha i installed all the drivers and everything so let's uh we have the quality on medium i mean on high so let's do the benchmark so i have the fan temperature i mean the fan speed exactly the same which is at 65%, so that's pretty good, exactly the same. The AMD card did not exceed no more than 67 degrees Celsius, um, so that's also good. So, I'm going to let this run, and I'll be right back when this finishes. Alright there guys, I'm back, let me fix my webcam a little bit, and... These are the final results from my graphics card. Now, the results are a little interesting, uh, in my opinion. So, I had the fan speed set at 65%, exactly how I had it on my R9. And I have notes on my phone, so that's why I'm looking down. Um, the temperatures were exactly the same. They peaked at 66 and they jiggled around 65 to 66 degrees Celsius. But if you notice here, my average was 117 FPS. My average on my uh, on uh, the R9 was 71.5. My score for this one is nearly 3000. My score for the other one was 1800. Now this minimum FPS that doesn't even count because that was my mistake. I uh, accidentally opened up a program while that was going, so it dropped down to 25. But the max is 243. Well, before the max was 150. Now another important thing is that 
my VRAM usage, I have 6 gigabytes in this new card, didn't exceed 60% usage. So that means I still have nearly almost half my card left. I have 40% of my VRAM left. So if I'm getting all these frames on this, that means I could play the game on a high resolution, maybe 1440 or 4K or maybe not 4K, but that's if you have the monitor. So thank you very much, guys. This is the conclusion. This, I got the, the GTX 1060 from ASUS. Uh, it's a very good card. I... Uh, think it's a very good card anyways so these are the results Ve thank you for watching subscribe if you're new like comment the on the video and i'll see you in the next one peace